Uh, Upper Nisbet Farm is situated halfway between Kelso and Jedburgh in the Scottish borders. We are a tenant on Lothian Estate and we are farming 633 hectares in total. We took over Upper Nisbet in May 2000. It was 800 acres at that point. Since 2000, we've expanded this unit and we've doubled its size. We've really upped our game, built a 3,000 tonne grain store, modernised all the cattle sheds and taken over two neighbouring farms as well. So that's given us more opportunities to be more profitable. Robert is a member of a wider satellite farm network, which is a network of commercial farms around the country. These are spread over a wide geographic area, they're covering most of Britain, and they are over all major commodities. They are set up to measure the variances in processes on the farm, and by measuring the variances of those processes, we can find where inefficiencies are getting into the farming system. We can now feed them with a modern piece of machinery, Keenan Diet Feeder, for example. The Keenan Diet Feeder speaks to the cloud, so I can tweak all the diets. We can be precise. It is down to precision, not wasting money. The days of carrying bags along feed troughs and having 10 men running about feeding 100 or 200 cattle are gone. The Agri Epicentre is one of four UK innovation centres set up for the UK government agri-tech strategy and funded through Innovate UK. The EPI in the name stands for Engineering, Precision and Innovation and we're focusing mainly on precision agriculture and agricultural engineering. Agri EPI provide cutting edge equipment which is installed on the satellite farms and in return we get the cooperation of the farmer and the data from the farm, which can then be used for the development of new technologies. We have installed beef monitor stations in each shed. Whenever an animal goes in to drink water, it is recorded automatically with the weights. So we're probably getting about eight weights per day. I can go into a shed, decide which animals I am going to send to slaughter the following week and look at its data live weight gain, look at its weight, see if there are um, enough fat cover on them, and then remove them from that batch. The expertise of the agri Centre is being able to facilitate the growth of the UK agriculture sector. We can provide project management support. We can help with the proposals for those projects. We have a bank of capital assets, which are research quarried equipment. We have the satellite farm network and we have our innovation hubs which are state-of-the-art innovation centres with workspace for innovative companies. Another system on the farm that we are trialling for the beef industry is the AFI milk data collars which are on finishing animals. Each collar has got two transponders on. One transponder is connected wirelessly to the computer and one transponder has got a data card in it recording every time the animal moves. The AFIMILK collars are used to measure feed behaviour and rumination on an individual animal basis. They are actually getting used in an Innovate funded project at the moment called the Precision Beef Project. The consortium involves Morrisons, Alltech, Keenan, SRUC, Strathclyde and Harbro and the aims of that are to measure the input, so the feed and the feed behaviour, and then the output, so the meat and the yield and the weight. But the benefit of using up in Isbet, all the commercial systems are already on place, so we have the Affy Milk collars, we have the Keenan Mixer Wagon, and we have the Ritchie Beef Monitor Crates. Harbour works with satellite farms because it allows us access to all this technology so we can trial products. We can get all this amazing data from that test product. It allows us to see if it's working. The farmer can see if it's working. The farmer's already invested in the satellite farms, so he provides great advice and great feedback. The world population is set to rise to 9 billion by 2050. From now until then, we're going to have to produce the same amount of food as we have in the last 10,000 years combined. But the farmland that we are producing the food off is decreasing. We need to produce more from less. So we're going to have to increase the productivity of that land. And one way to do this is with the use of technology.